Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 4. Now there cried a certain woman of the women of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Your servant, my man, is dead. And you know that your servant did fear at Yahuwah, and the creditor is come to take unto him at my two sons to be bondmen. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for you? Tell me, what have you in the house? And she said, Your handmaid has not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go, borrow vessels abroad of all your neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. And when you are come in, you shall shut the door upon you and upon your sons, and shall pour out into all those vessels, and you shall set aside that which is full. So she went from him, and shut the door upon her and upon her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of Elohim. And he said, Go, sell eth the oil, and pay eth your debt, and live you and your children of the rest. And it fell on a day that Elisha passed to Shunem, where was a great woman, and she constrained him to eat bread. And so it was that as oft as he passed by, he turned in thither to eat bread. And she said unto her man, Behold now, I perceive that this is a Kodeshi of Elohim, which passes by us continually. Let us make a little chamber, I pray you, on the wall, and let us set for him there a bed, and a table, and a stool, and a menorah. And it shall be, when he comes to us, that he shall turn in thither. And it fell on a day that he came thither, and he turned into the chamber and lay there. And he said to Gehazi, his servant, Call this Shunamith. And when he had called her, she stood before him. And he said unto him, Say now unto her, Behold, you have been careful for us with eth all this care. What is to be done for you? Would you be spoken for to the king or to the captain of the host? And she answered, I dwell among my own people. And he said, What then is to be done for her? And Gehazi answered, Truly she has no child, and her man is old. And he said, Call her. And when he had called her, she stood in the door. And he said, About this season, according to the time of life, you shall embrace a son. And she said, Nay, my lord, man of Elohim, do not lie unto your handmaid. And the woman conceived and bore a son at that season that Elisha had said unto her, according to the time of life. And when the child was grown, it fell on a day that he went out to his father to the reapers. And he said unto his father, My head, my head. And he said to a lad, Carry him to his mother. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees till noon and then died. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of Elohim and shut the door upon him and went out. And she called unto her man and said, Send me, I pray you, one of the young men and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of Elohim and come again. And he said, Wherefore will you go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Shabbat. And she said, It shall be well. Then 
She saddled an ass and said to her servant, Drive and go forward. Slack not your riding for me, except I bid you. So she went and came unto the man of Elohim to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass, when the man of Elohim saw her afar off, that he said to Gay Chazi, his servant, Behold, yonder is that Shunamith. Run now, I pray you, to meet her, and say unto her, Is it well with you? Is it well with your man? Is it well with the child? And she answered, It is well. And when she came to the man of Elohim to the hill, she caught him by the feet. But Gehazi came near to thrust her away. And the man of Elohim said, Let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her. And Yahuwah has hid it from me and has not told me. Then she said, Did I desire a son of my Lord? Did I not say, Do not deceive me? Then he said to Gehazi, Gird up your loins, and take my staff in your hand, and go your way. If you meet any man, salute him not, and if any salute you, answer him not again, and lay my staff upon the face of the child. And the mother of the child said, As Yahuwah lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. And he arose and followed her. And Gehazi passed on before them, and laid at the staff upon the face of the child. But there was neither voice nor hearing. Wherefore he went again to meet him, and told him, saying, The child is not awoke. And when Elisha was come into the house, behold, the child was dead, and laid upon his bed. He went in, therefore, and shut the door upon them too, and prayed unto Yahuwah. And he went up and lay upon the child and put his mouth upon his mouth and his eyes upon his eyes and his hands upon his hands. And he stretched himself upon the child and the flesh of the child waxed warm. Then he returned and walked in the house to and fro and went up and stretched himself upon him. And the child sneezed seven times. And the child opened at his eyes. And he called Gehazi and said, Call this Shunamith. So he called her. And when she was come in unto him, he said, Take up your son. And then she went in and fell at his feet and bowed herself to the ground and took up at her son and went out. And Elisha came again to Gilgal, and there was a famine in the land. And the sons of the prophets were sitting before him. And he said unto his servant, Set on the great pot, and seethe pottage for the sons of the prophets. And one went out into the field to gather herbs, and found a wild vine, and gathered thereof wild gourds in his lap rather, wild gourds his lap full, and came and shred them into the pot of pottage, for they knew them not. So they poured out for the men to eat. And it came to pass, as they were eating of the pottage, that they cried out and said, O man of Elohim, there is death in the pot. And they could not eat thereof. But he said, Then bring meal. And he cast it into the pot, and he said, Pour out for the people that they may eat. And there was no harm in the pot. And there came a man from Baal Shalisha, and brought the man of Elohim bread of the first fruits, twenty loaves of barley and full ears of corn in the husk thereof. And he said, Give unto the people that they may eat. And his servitor said, What? Should I set this before a hundred men? He said again, Give the people that they may eat. 
For thus says Yahuwah, they shall eat and shall leave thereof. So he set it before them, and they did eat and left thereof, according to the word of Yahuwah.